Welcome to my views and news. I had to make this video because since yesterday I have been receiving messages. Uh, people are asking questions. Since yesterday it is being claimed by some analysts, by some news outlets that uh, Tegarai war uh, is going to resume. Uh, several viewers uh, asked me uh, saying, Sajid, why are you silent? Uh, several analysts and uh, news outlets are making this claim. Do you agree with this claim? Uh, have you received any information from the ground? What is your analysis? Uh, firstly, is there any appetite for war in three parties? Tigray, Ethiopian federal government and Eritrean government. Ethiopian government is knocking at every door for financial relief. It is in the grip of a severe economic crisis. Its foreign exchange reserves dwindling fast, bird value declining. And uh, despite hectic efforts, government could not uh, get assurances, though US is likely to help Ethiopia. Amashadeh was in China a few days ago. PM Abi was in France and Malta. All these visits were linked to Ethiopian efforts for financial aid, which Ethiopia is in dire need of. PMRB's government is, PMRB himself is trying to improve his international stature. He is improving his ties with the West, with the uh, US. Government is hoping that UN Inquiry Commission's mandate uh, would be terminated. Government is against uh, UN inquiry into uh, war crimes committed in the two-year-long war. So, can you imagine that PMRB's government would be uh, planning to start a new war? I don't think so. No appetite for war in Addis Ababa. Second party is Tigray. What are Tigray leaders doing? Tigray leaders are holding discussions. Meetings being held in Makale, Tigray's capital. Consensus is being created for the formation of interim government. Top TPLF leaders were in Addis Ababa two days ago. Tigray's top military commanders are not uh, leading their tops on the ground. They are part of a uh, political process. They are in talks. Their leading committee is formed for the formation of interim government. Tadase Varade was Tigray's commander in chief. What is he doing these days? He is leading the committee, the efforts for the formation of interim government. And what about the people of Tigray? Do they have any appetite for a new war? No. No appetite for war in Tigray. Tigray government, TPLF, Opposition party, people of Tigray, they don't want start of a new war. Third party, Eritrean government, PFDJ led Eritrean government. Is it planning uh, a new offensive on Tigray? Isa Sevoki is planning post TPLF scenario. Game over is the slogan of Eritrean government now. Where was Philippos, Eritrean military chief, last week? He was seen with his soldiers on some development project. Isa Sahverki two days ago in an interview said that army's activity will be diverted towards development projects. Yes, army is not being demobilized, but uh, army's uh, activities would be diverted to non-combat, non-military uh, projects. Uh, any movement on the ground uh, from Eritrean military showing it is planning a major offensive on Tigray? I don't know. When you analyze such uh, claims, you rely on two things. Firstly, sources. 
secondly understanding of the situation analysis of the situation i have no reliable sources uh, reporting that uh, eratia or tagarai or adis ababa are going to start a new phase of this war and uh, my analysis of the situation is what i shared with you the three parties have no appetite for war having said that having said all this core issues are still unresolved could this uh, uh, lead to start of war because issues are unresolved tagarai's uh, uh, claims to southern and western zones are unanswered amhara forces are there no talks have have been held so far and uh, i delete tigray would like both raya and volkai to be part of tigray as soon as possible any progress made don't think so uh, though we heard about some withdrawal of amhara forces from uh, parts of southern tigray but uh, amhara region says volkai is non negotiable Volkai authorities are resisting the return of Tigrayans to uh, Volkai, to Western Tigray, Western zone. Core issues, thorn issues. Volkai raya unresolved. Another, but but uh, uh, do you think Tigray would go for war to settle its uh, dispute with Amhara over uh, raya and Volkai? Uh, Uh, why would tigray go to war with eratia if it wants to resolve uh, outstanding issues with the mara region and uh, thirdly tigray eratia border yes again issues unresolved because eratian forces uh, uh, did not completely withdraw from tigray though they are out of main towns of tigray main towns and cities they are in border areas and some of these border areas are contested between tigray and eratia between ethiopia and eratia eratia is trying to enforce by force the decision of uh, ethiopia eratia boundary commission which ruled around two decades ago uh, its uh, decision can be seen uh, online eratia is implementing this decision Erobs territories uh, are under Eritrean control. Badme as well. Some other parts too. Zilam Basa too, I think. So uh, Eritrea is enforcing the decision by force. But do you think it could be reason for start of war? It can happen in future, not now. Right now, Tigray does not want to start a new war. Tigray cannot afford. people of tigray had lost the appetite for war when they struck the peace deal uh, they had lost uh, the will to fight you can say their capabilities were being degraded people were sick of war that is why they signed pretoria deal just uh, a few months ago in november and still aid levies to tigray are not sufficient no businesses uh, no commercial activity between tigray and neighboring regions could resume uh, still businesses suspended commercial activity suspended banking uh, largely uh, suspended there are limits on withdrawal and uh, no return of refugees in sight thousands in sudan uh, and other parts of ethiopia and hundreds in prisons too so a lot needs to be done several key issues unresolved but it does not mean that uh, war is about to start yes in the long run if the issues remain unresolved we could see escalation uh, but uh, but let's hope that things get better people say that uh, eratia is frustrated with growing cooperation between tplf and ethiopian federal government that is why eratia could try to undermine pretoria deal how close are addis ababa and makale that will see in coming months and years maybe it's too early to say that two are hand in glove 
yes, uh, uh, they have managed to form a working relationship. Uh, they are not issuing hate messages against each other. Uh, and uh, they are backing the implementation of peace deal. It does not mean that uh, large uh, TPLF uh, uh, Addis Abab alliance is emerging. Though uh, we have discussed that in some previous videos that uh, a TPLF Oromian alliance could be in the making. Maybe in some uh, separate, we will try to analyze this, this uh, issue as well of Ethiopian internal politics. A lot needs to be done. Lots of issues are unresolved. But we have not seen any credible information from the ground that large scale mobilization is underway. I think I remember uh, a few weeks ago I received some information from Eritrea that uh, those uh, Eritrean reservists who were called for the war when third round of fighting started in August, they were relieved. They had been relieved relieved uh, after the signing of the Pretoria deal uh, and now Eritrean army is being sent on development projects uh, maybe for greening of desert project. So, so it's uh, irresponsible I would say to say that war is about to resume. Those who are making this claim should uh, share detailed analysis. Sometimes our sources mislead us and some, sometimes our sources are mistaken themselves. That is why unknowingly they pass wrong information. And sometimes there are things happening which uh, we cannot see. We are unable to see the real picture. So far what we have been able to analyze uh, is that no war is uh, on the cards in coming days between Tigray or Eritrea or Ethiopia or Eritrea. But again, I'm saying issues, main issues are unresolved. If the issues remain unresolved, we could see some escalation sooner or later. Thank you for watching.